So yes, this is a reality. <laughs> I'm doing it on the floor. Are you right there, Carlos? <laughs> to learn how to make a fantastic boa for the quarter of a price of a full ostrich boa? Well, I'm here to show you how to make a vegan chul boa, tassels and all. So to make your boa, you need all of these fabulous materials. There actually isn't much. Um, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, first of all, you need your tool, and you're gonna buy a tool on a spool. Uh, so these are six inch wide, 100 yard spools um, of the tool, the color you're using. Um, and you need to buy six to eight of them. So I've got seven, and this will depend on how thick and chunky you want your bow and also how long you want it. So if you want a skinny short one, you don't need to buy seven. If you want a really chunky thick one and long, uh, you'll probably need a couple more spools, probably maybe nine, but that does depend um, on how long you go. Then you'll need some rope. This is for the middle of your boa. It can be cotton or it can be nylon. It does not matter. And you want to buy a bit extra uh, than the length of the boa you're going for. So if you want a 1.8 meter long boa, which is the regular size of boa, uh, you want to buy at least two meters worth of rope because you will be knotting the ends. Um, if you're going for a longer bar, of course, you want to get a little bit more length. Uh, I have 2.5 meters here because I want mine to be quite long and quite luxurious. Um, you don't really want anything more than three meters because it might just be too much on stage and really hard to pack, to be honest. Um, if you are buying nylon rope, you will need a lighter just to light the ends uh, to avoid any fraying. Um, but if you're using cotton, of course, the whole thing will go up in flames if you do that. So you need some tape instead, and you just wrap the tape around the rope before you cut it to create a little bit of a shoelace situation. And then, of course, you need a pair of scissors, um, and then you'll need a magazine for measurement. Um, so just an A4 magazine is fine, and you can choose to either measure with the short way or the long way, and I'll explain why in a second. Alright, so let's start preparing our rope. So as I said in the uh, intro, you will need to make sure that the ends don't fray on your rope. Now this is already pre-done, but I'll explain what you do um, if you have cotton rope. If you have nylon rope, rope, you just use a lighter and you go it on the end and you go do 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 and it should burn and melt a little bit and it'll stop any frayage. But cotton obviously will go up in flames. So you're just going to use some tape and you are going to, of course I didn't prepare this earlier and I'm just struggling to find the end. There we go. You're just going to take a tiny little bit of it. That's about the measurement of the uh, rope. And you're gonna wrap it around the rope. I'm gonna go this way. Just to ensure that all of the fibers are stuck in the tape. And you can cut off any excess. You don't need too much tape. You don't want to be too bulky. And then that's all ready for you to just cut down the middle, and then you've got like a little shoelace situation. Of course. Shoelace situation uh, with a little bit of tape on the end to stop any fringe. From there, you are going to give yourself a little bit extra um, before you draw tie a knot. I mean, um, so if you decide that you want to put, say, a tassel on the end of your bra, give yourself like four to six inches of extra to make a loop in. Um, and actually, you do that loop right now. So you loop it around. And you're just going to tie the knot in the end. Ooh. Tie it real good. Nice and tight. And then you've got something ready for your tassel to attach to. So I just did a real basic knot. You probably could even have a shorter little tail there. But it doesn't really matter, especially if you bought a lot of extra rope. Um, and then you're going to just prepare that. Then, so let's get on 
into our tool bit. Now what you're going to be doing is making these fun tool bows. Here's some that I prepared earlier. Um, and you will need your magazine and of course your tool. Now I recommend working on the floor because you do need some rolling space for this tool spool. Um, and make sure you create like a little barrier so it doesn't roll off into the end of the abyss. Um, and you're first going to cut a little 10 to 12 centimeter length of tool. So I'm just using my magazine as a measurement. Um, and we will come back to this once we have finished everything. So just hold, keep this aside, don't lose it. It's really hard to, to lose sight of that. Then you're going to start wrapping your magazine in your tool. Um, now you can either do the shorter way to make something a little bit skinnier, or you can do the longer way to make something a bit fatter. I'm gonna go lengthwise. It does mean you have to be a lot more particular about the rolling technique. So, you're going to grab the end of your tool in your magazine, make it nice in the middle of your magazine, and you're gonna try and make sure there's no uh, folds, and we're just going to roll the magazine up in the tool. So you want, so I've got one nice, this is where we get the little tricky bit, making sure it keeps all nice and unfolded, nice. And now you're gonna wrap this 30, yes I said 30, three zero times. Really close to the end. 
you can stretch it down. So, after you get one roll done, you've got at least 10 little bows here. So, really what you do is you keep going until you fill it all the way up. Just make sure that most of them have a little bit of leeway. Uh, you want to be able to slide the bows up and down the rope, but do make sure that your bows are super nice and tight, because what we'll do next is we'll cut the bows open so you don't want any of that jewel slipping out of your knot. But yeah, keep going. You like how much more extra you got? Huh, it's gonna take a bit. Enjoy. So once you have filled up your whole boa, to be honest, I can't tell you how many bows there are, but I've definitely used all seven rolls of my tool. And um, we're gonna just check on the last one. So all of these are removable, so you can slide them up and down, just so you can really push them down. But this last one, we want to make sure that we get it nice and tight, and that we put our tape on the end of the of the, uh, this rope as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut my rope first. Um, of course, I've got a lot extra. I probably bought too much. But this is a nice two meter long boa, um, and I'm really happy with that. And so we will find the end of the tape. Here we go. And we'll do the same situation that we did before, where we're going to give ourselves, say, six inches, put the tape around the rope. This rope can go away. Then we're going to make a loop and tie a nice tight knot in the end. So we have a loop for our tassel to attach to, and then our final bow is when I find little pieces is going to attach really tightly to the end. strong scissors and what we're going to do is we're going to cut open all of our bows. So find the center of each bow. It might take you a little bit just to find that perfect center. And then right in the middle
shove your hand all the way through it. Find that to be the easiest. To then find kind of the middle and then cutting it open. And then we'll get this last one. Thanks guys, I'll see y'all on the fun side.